and welcome to another gauge demo from fitgages.com. Today we're going to show you the GPWS gauge that does ground callouts. The GPWS stands for Ground Protection Warning System. The prerequisites for running in this gauge are you must have the complete edition version of SPAD.next 0.9.6.31 or better, which is the current beta. And you must also have Windows text to speech enabled as well. So basically, it does uh, say the call outs for approach 25,000 feet, 1,000 feet, 500, etc. etc. And I can demo that for you in a moment. But first, I'm going to cover what the buttons do as usual. So S1, this calibrates your ground height. So basically calibration is needed because the radio altitude, although it's fairly accurate, gives you the um, altitude from the sensor in the aircraft, which is usually above the wheels. So you can see here that the radio altitude is currently 9.67 feet off the ground. However, I'm actually sitting on the ground right now. So what I need to do is calibrate the ground height. Now there's two ways of calibrating the ground height. You can calibrate the height while all the wheels are on the ground and the aircraft is flat. Or you can calibrate the aircraft as it touches down, which means that that radio height sensor is going to be a slightly different height depending whether you're flat on the ground or you're coming in on a flared landing. So I personally prefer to calibrate it when I'm landing and my rear wheels touch down. But if you press S1, that will calibrate. So I'm going to do that now. Ground height calibrated while aircraft is flat on the ground. There you go. So it's turning in now that the calibration has been calibrated while it's flat on the ground. And you can see the offset that's been applied um, is the same as the current radio height. Therefore, the adjusted altitude is set to zero. So it now knows the actual wheel height to the ground. Right. S2. Helicopter oh. call outs. There you go, it changes the types. So the callouts are slightly different for a helicopter and for aircraft. Let's put it back. Aircraft callouts. Okay, so the helicopter callouts will give you a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, and it also doesn't give you things like 25,000, 5,000, because you know, it's a bit pointless for a helicopter. So I turn those off for a helicopter and give you more at the lower end. Okay, S3, S4, and S5 are not used and S6 is used to disable the call out so whether they're on or off. Ground call outs off. And when they're off you can see the call outs disabled is set to one. So now the call outs won't shout out. Um, it'll still display the call outs in the gauge and everything visually will still continue to work but you'll no longer receive the audio call outs. Let's turn that back on. Ground call outs on. Okay, so now I've activated it. It also works at what my current height is, and obviously that's why we've got the touchdown notification as well. Okay, so also here we've got the option to auto calibrate. So now when you're in the air and you press S1, then you'll get a notification to say that your call out height will be calibrated the next time your wheels touch the ground, and the auto calibrate will go to one to indicate that that's active. Now I'm on approach, I have the sim paused and I'm currently at 771 feet from the ground and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the S1 to do the calibration. Auto calibrate now on. Touchdown calibration will be set on the next touchdown. Okay, so that tells me basically the calibration is set to on, the auto calibration flag has gone to one and now the offset will be set when my rear wheels hit the ground. 100 above. Minimums 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown. Auto calibration complete. Okay, as you can hear, that um, the auto calibration has now been completed. And you can see that the offset height is slightly different to how it was when I calibrated it on the ground. It's um, offset by another two foot. So now I've calibrated it. You may have noticed that when I landed, the wheels actually touched down and jumped slightly because obviously there was a difference in the uh, calibration. So I actually hit the ground at around about two feet, according to the on-ground calibration. 
So now I'm landed, it knows exactly where my wheels are. So I can now redo the landing and this time it will be perfect. And we'll do that now. 500. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred above. Minimums. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. 20, 10, touchdown. One last thing before we round up is the dials. So I have set a manual control on the dials for the offset. So if you know the offset from uh, having calibrated it before on one of your aircraft, so for instance, I know that uh, my 747 needs an offset of 11.59-ish. Um, so you can manually set the offset and you just turn the um, left dial to move the whole numbers and the right dial to move the fractions. So I can set it roughly, give or take, um, 0.1-ish. You can actually set that height manually up and down. And if I do it fast, you can see it actually affects where the wheel shows in the graphics for the offset so you can set that manually and you've got the fine tune control as well here okay so that concludes the cage demo i hope you found that useful please check out our other videos and come back for more um, i hope you found this useful please subscribe and see you soon